General. We are discovered. Good. Welcome back to Movie Lingo. This is your host, Tunde Show, and this is where we cover everything movie-related, movie news, movie breakdowns, movie reactions, all that, and some more good stuff like music videos on occasion. But not today, baby. Today we're checking out Napoleon, the official trailer number two. I haven't seen number one. I've heard a lot about it. It's Ridley Scott. He's a legendary director. But go ahead and like and subscribe right now. In between this random thought of Ridley Scott's legendary uh, directing, and um, yeah, just take a, take take a minute to just just understand the fact that this man made Gladiator, you know, and he's done a lot of amazing uh, films. And uh, as of every once in a while, he puts out a film that isn't so good. Like um, I believe House of Gucci was his work, um, but then then he, and then he'll knock it out the park. And uh, from what I've heard from CinemaCon, as far as this movie is concerned, Joaquin Phoenix is exceptional. Of course, it's Joaquin Phoenix. But the beauty of this film is in the cinematography, and it's amazing. Uh, I heard about some um, really, really nice uh, war sequences that take place even on ice here. That is like a, um, a friend of mine got to go, and he saw uh, a clip that, a long clip. I think it was like a, maybe a 20-minute sequence that was like, I don't know. Um, it was harrowing. It was brutal. It was genius. And it was from the mind of um, Napoleon, played by, like I said, Joaquin Phoenix, who will not be doing the French accent. And I respect him, man. I feel like if you can't bring honor to the accent, if it's going to distract from the actual work, then you don't need to do it. He's not Napoleon. So why did he, why, why pretend to do the accent? We know that this is a figure, you know? When we read our textbooks, we don't hear the voice. We just see a guy, you know, and we still believe the story. So we'll see. If it, I know he's going to be able to sell this. Uh, let's see if this trailer uh, sells me and keeps my interest and my anticipation for when it comes out. All right, guys, Napoleon official trailer. I know I'm mumbling. I should just dive right into it. But, you know, it is what it is. And here we go. That's genius. He had his his people cover the the ice with snow, man. And they thought that they, he blew up the freaking ice. Unfit for higher office. Wow. He knows what he's doing, bro. He was built for this. Alexander the Great and Caesar. Thanksgiving, exclusively Thursday, Thanksgiving. Okay, perfect. But like historical films made well are amazing. They're amazing. Okay. So I haven't seen um 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 uh, the uh Flower Moon uh movie yet. I haven't seen that, okay? Um but um 
I do, I do uh, want to check it out. Uh, what is it? Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah, so I haven't seen that movie yet. Um, but I will check it out. And But what I've heard a lot of people say is three hours and it could be shorter, you know. But you have a three-hour movie like Oppenheimer, right? And then that just keeps me engaged completely the whole entire way, you know. So I feel like there's a way to do, you know, a long movie that has people, you know, at the edge of their seat. Even if it's a movie that is, um, you know, that's more of a, a slow-paced kind of like slow type of movie, you still will be at, your, at the edge of your seat if you are, um, you know, if, if 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 the movie is done well, you know, if if the beats are are appropriate and on point, you know, and and um, the testament is like I said. Uh, Oppenheimer. That was a movie. It was amazing. I, and I, again, I haven't seen Killers of Flower Moon yet, so I can't tell you if it if it grasped my attention or if I felt like, oh my god, this was too long or not. Uh, Martin Scorsese is a genius, so I, I'm pretty sure that movie is going to be a masterpiece, and we'll probably get every award there is, especially with the content and the subject matter. But not rewatchability because nobody's going to watch that twice. This right here, I would watch twice. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it could be something that's hard to watch, but if you, the way and the beats that is put there, at least there's some kind of like joy, and levity, and you know, or you know, escape from from reality or consequence a little bit from this movie. You know, it's like a wall in between. But yeah, man, I'm I'm ready for this, man. This is Academy Award winner Joaquin Phoenix. I love this man. He's brilliant. You know. Uh, sometimes he may appear a little cuckoo, but that's all part of the package, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, Ridley Scott, I'm ready for him to to take take what belongs to him, man, because this is his shit, bro. And uh, yeah, I know he's making a Gladiator movie. That's in the works. But this is going to tell me whether I should even focus on that one. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you like this movie? Um, are you interested uh, in seeing it when it comes out? Uh, guys, let me know. You know, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next time on Movie Lingo. I'm out.